What's up guys? Just at Harbor Freight and I saw you had these new uh, standalone 100 watt panels. They did away with those like funky ones with the four pieces that you had to put together that were like really expensive. So this is only like 99 bucks uh, with no discount. So that's about right for a 100 watt solar panel. Uh, but not with stands, not with the kickstands. These have a kickstand. So I'm gonna open this up. All right, James is here to help me. This is what I'm the most interested in right here in my camper. All right, so you got a little full up stands that are nice because one hand you don't need to unclick anything. I guess the downside of that is they're not necessarily super secure, but they do go to there and stop. You have a quick disconnect style N. So obviously that's going to need to go into a charge controller. James is going to drive his truck on it, do a little durability test there. All right, so here it is without the uh, cardboard. The dimensions on this are 36 inches by 26 inches. Which is very similar to the HQST panel I just put up on the roof of my van. That one there. Cool thing about this, 100 bucks for something with feet. Kind of hard to beat right now. All right, so my initial impressions are good. Quality looks decent, I mean, you know, pretty comparable to my other branded solar panels obviously this one doesn't fold in half all right so there it is side by side with the Renogy folding 100 watt solar panel it's much bigger of course because it's not folded in half obviously when the Renogy panels folded out it's a similar size so if you're looking to travel obviously the Harbor Freight is going to be a bit more bulky but it's way cheaper even without a charge controller, the Foley Renogy 100 watt solar panel is 200 ish dollars right now. Whereas this guy is 100. So you could end up with two of these for 200 bucks and have 200 watts with legs, you know, with standing setup there. You just need to come up with a charge controller. But honestly, those are so cheap now. Well, as you can see, the Renogy Open is a touch bigger. So. I don't know that that would ever be much of an issue. The difference, the main difference is that for $100 less or half the price, you are not able to fold this one. They both have legs. Now I have to say, you can get the range with just a little bit more with the charge controller, a little more than $200. So, But if you can find a cheaper charge controller or you already have one, like I do, sitting around, then it seems like a no-brainer for 200 bucks. You get two of those, have 200 watts. See, full charge controller, ready to go. But this guy is more ready to go because it comes with the cabling and the charge controller on the back, mounted, pre-mounted. No, oh, hey, durability test. I told you. All right, so here the Renogy. Obviously, you can see it comes with the charge controller. It's already wired up. It does fold. It also has legs, of course. But this guy does not have a charge controller. It just has a quick connect, but it does have legs as well. But obviously it does not fold. For 225 or whatever it is on Amazon, you get this whole rig here. So if you don't have cable and you don't have a charge controller, the more expensive energy might still be the way to go. Or if you need it to compact in a smaller space and you get the little case. So. No case, that comes with a case. No charge controller, that one comes with a charge controller. Not all the cables you need. This one comes with all the cables you need to hook right up to your battery. Comes with alligator clips. So one of the other things to consider is that this isn't quite as thick. I would say that the hardware and the edging on the Renogy is more heavy duty, but that also means it's heavier. So as long as you have a good safe place to just like keep it in your, in the cardboard box while you're driving. Well, I mean, lighter is better in that, in that sense. I mean, it's not that it's light, it's not flimsy by any means, but I would say that this corner is not as heavy duty as this corner here. It's well used. This Renogy panel has been all over the United States. 
So, which is obviously it's held up. But I, I'm also not concerned because it's a very standard. Uh, you know, this is the one on my roof. I mean, it looks identical. Essentially, a couple more little grooves in the aluminum, but that's about it. But it's just riveted. These are riveted. These are bolted. These legs. These legs are a little obviously they're adjustable. They're a little heftier, maybe. If that makes sense. This guy, not super hefty, but. Obviously, you're not going to be abusing your solar panels, and they're going to stand on them. Hopefully, your kids aren't going to climb on them. Mine was trying to drive his monster truck on it, but, you know. Junction box looks decent. There. Obviously, the Renegy's legs are have multiple points of contact, whereas these are just super simple, but kind of like that. You don't have to... This one, if you're like, you got your hands full, can't just flip them out you gotta kind of deal with them which that makes them more heavy duty that's just trade-offs 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 trade -offs. so these are definitely simple could imagine being more simple maybe that's all you need all right so something else to note is these do have mounting holes so if you want to mount the uh, harbor freight panel on your roof and then or start with it not mounted and then later you decide you want to mount it, it's ready to go. So, very cool. Very versatile setup, for sure. All right, so I set out the legs on both of these. Because these don't lock, you're gonna to want to put them all the way out. So basically, this is kind of at the angle it's gonna be at, safely, I would say. Whereas, on the Renegy, it's definitely adjustable. Do not hit that with a screwdriver. Not on the panel, not on the panel. James Ray to screwdriver or some stuff. No, 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 not on the panel. Whereas here you obviously have a lot of wiggle room, which angle you want. Now some people get really into that, but what's the best angle for your solar panels? Yeah, not really as concerned. If you're in direct sunlight, oh, do you pick that one? As far as an angle, this Renegy panel, obviously a little more flexible at the exact angle you want to set it up at the thunderbolt from harbor freight is more of a fixed angle because it does not lock so you got to pull those legs all the way back you know to give it its best shot at being nice and i mean it's very sturdy this thing doesn't move here you can see this thing is sturdy i mean i'm shaking it and it doesn't move side to side at all so it's very sturdy honestly that one the range moves a little more the biggest difference is that the range panel comes pre-wired and it's ready to go whereas the thunderbolt from harbor freight is going to need wiring and a charge controller to get to your battery so if you don't have that already you're definitely going to spend more than the hundred dollars obviously you could get twenty dollar charge controllers uh you can get you know ten or fifteen dollar cables but just know like you're, there is more to it than just the panel. The panel is not ready to go straight. The panel is not ready to go straight to a battery. You gotta have a charge controller for sure. All right, so we're just on the edge of sunset here, but it is enough sunlight to see that I did wire it upright. That sun coming in, so the PV light, photovolic, and the battery is connected. And here's the battery. From this junction box is one quick connect cable here. So I took an old quick connect cable, cut off one end, wired it in to the solar, positive and negative, out from the battery, terminals on the charge controller, coming here to these clamps, and boom, just like that, with functional solar energy. If you're trying to use this setup for disaster prep, you can get something like this, the uh, 12 volt, adapter just like a car would have and then you have eyelets you just drop those on the appropriate terminals obviously you'd want to bolt those down and then this guy would be live and you could plug in anything you can plug into a car's 12 volt supply it would run off this no problem so it's a good way to do some disaster prep or if you're just like i want to just run a 12 volt fridge or just something simple otherwise you can just hook up an inverter to those studs and you'd be good to go running some ac power so i think my main concern about the thunderbolt over the renegy 
is just the logistics of getting it to wherever you're going if you're going to use it as a ground mount like if you mount it on your roof then it's just like any other hundred watt hundred dollar solar panel however what do we do here am i going to carry the box in my trailer it's the first thing out and the last thing in what am i going to do with this guy i'm going to keep the box then i have to stash the box i guess you could wrap it up in some kind of sheet i haven't found solar panels be like fragile, but still I'm getting jacked. I mean, you saw my kid trying to smash it with a screwdriver. That would be like my one concern. I'd say get some like giant pillowcase or something and just throw it over it while you're in transit. Or just take the box. What would you do? How would you carry it? Tell me in the comments, because I'm going to use it this week on a long trip.